Hello everybody, Jet here and welcome back to my frog playthrough. Sorry about cutting the last one off a little bit early, I could hear my son crying downstairs, so, um, you know, I, I wanted to go, go and just check on him. Also sorry about the little bit of time muted towards the end, I'm not quite sure how that happened, but uh, obviously, you know, we, we, it wasn't too much time, so I have put it up. If it is really annoying, let me know, and I will uh, look at doing some commentary over the top of it and re-uploading it. But for the moment, I think it's actually fine, because it wasn't too much. Um, I don't actually want to put him on a war horse, because he's, he's, he doesn't affect his melee attack. But he is, while he's really cool on a mammoth, he is an excellent jeweler as well. So that makes him anti-infantry. Um... Anyway, let's have a think. Hmm. I'm going to get the war horse, but I'm not necessarily going to keep it equipped, just so we can move around a bit better, better, especially with how I'm using him at the moment, so... Right. Let's go finish this place off. Oh, we were meant to be building ourselves back up. And let's raise this one. For the serpent. Um, I, I'd say I'm going to start balancing the serpent and um, the, the hound now to try and keep both up, which is going to be a bit trickier, but yeah, I'm sure we'll manage it. Hmm. I want to get up straight up to Kindle Flame. I'm, I already have fireballs. I'm not sure why I need to learn it again, but you know. The four corners. You can go and start raiding down here. Oh, that's a bit of a better raiding income. Hmm. Oh, and we've leveled up. We're obviously just going straight down the damage tree next. Okay. Oh, I forgot about him. Okay, he's just going to be my, my sea lord. He's, his job is to uh, just uh, float around at sea, picking up all the treasures and things he can find. Um, and basically picking up and gathering as many things as he can find because they give us buffs. Um, it's a very good thing to do is just to have a random lord who floats around the seas, if you can do it. He very much pays for himself. They have made it so it's not quite as ridiculously effective, but it's still good. Ooh. Ooh, that might not be good. Please be able to get far enough away that he can't double tap us. And please, be, if he's far enough away that I can catch him in the open. That's actually perfect. I can catch him in the open now. Oh, damn. Still, I can still catch him quite easily there. This place has own, has recently been raided, so it's not too strong. Um, Skaven are almost certainly going to sneak out and try and cap here. Which means I can take help it as well a bit easier. What? So a chunk of extra cash. Let's start heading for that, that one there. Mm. What is for garrison? He's got a very strong garrison. It's treachery, who cares? Let's fight. I'll get there. I will. Basically, the plan here is to hit them and then hit help it straight afterwards. It looks like we need to fight this one, which kind of worries me about attacking help it, but we'll see how that goes. Not sure I agree with that auto. I guess I am low on some of my troops. Maybe I should have built myself up first, but... We've got a backing up army here with fairly good units as well, so I'm not massively worried. That's the dangerous thing here, more than anything. And they do have quite a lot of anti-large. 
but I'm fairly sure we're just going to rip through them, so... Let's just start deployment. They're a fairly standard layout. Um, what did I put over there with a the skin wolf? I'm actually going to chuck some familiar warriors in the middle. Have some trolls on and have our nice trolley flanks. These guys can go up here to be ready to scout behind. Frog can go right in the middle. Frog and you can go out to the sides a little bit just to spread your leadership aura. Okay. Fairly boring formation, guys, but you know. Oh, whoops, did I not? Select that unit of ice trolls. Never mind. They seem to be turning around. These guys can head straight over here. Actually, no, let's hit the large, the anti large units first. So let's go breathe on those storm vermin, please. You guys just zerg yourself down here as quickly as you can. A fireball into them. And let's push forwards. You can move in behind. They're shooting the wrong units there. Nice. Let's get our charge on. Drop into those slingers. You guys can all just batter into them. You guys can start pushing around the back. My assassin, <laughs> their assassins attacked my trolls. That probably wasn't the best idea for it. Slam into the back of here. They've got their artillery trapped. These trolls charging should do quite a lot of damage. Let's throw a fireball over here. You guys can fold into them. Oh, nice. Frog is doing nicely there. Well, let's try this vortex. Not the most mobile one, which works quite well. That did a reasonable amount of damage to them. We're cracking them here. Some of you guys can fold over here. They're gone. This is turning into a mass route now. We've, we've, we've got these guys. Yeah, we've won already. At this point, they're not going to come back. He says as a unit tries to come back. Oh no, it's gone. There we go. Lots of dead Skaven there. Uh, we lost 82 units. I'm quite happy with that, actually. Um, we are a smallish army, though. Um, so we do need to be careful, but they're mostly going to be from my squishy humans rather than my uh, monstrous units. Um, lots of damage. Frog did very nicely there. Um, as did the dragons and all the trolls. Well, the frost trolls did much better for this unit of trolls. I don't know why that unit of trolls did badly, but sometimes they just do. And our, our frost worm did nicely too. Hmm. 
take the leadership bonus for five turns. Yeah. We're okay on income at the moment. Oh, and we just got a new regiment of renown. And lots of nice leveling up and abilities. And, and um, up to our, our things like this. So uh, these are, you know, we're, we're better at trait gained. So he's uh, extra income from raiding. What was it? Frog gained. Frog gained something as well. Um, I think Frog just leveled up actually. Who's going to anyway? This is a uh, quite a good place to be uh, raiding from the looks of it. My challenge undeniable. The eternal challenger. No escape. Rock. Right, let's get Kindle Flame, make everybody more susceptible to fire damage. Up our champions one more time. We'll probably go for these guys. Just make our berserkers that much tougher. Um, let's just check on our settlements over here. Because these are the ones I really care about at the moment. Hmm. No, we can't level anything else up just yet. Okay. Oh wow, the Empire is here. Now, I need to be careful, they might actually be coming for me, so... They do do that on occasion, and it's quite a nasty thing. It's, it's, when your faction's like this, everybody does kind of get together and charge you, which is a little bit um, vicious. The other thing we can do, though, guys, is to remember, is I can actually end up trading with some of these factions. Ah! I'm a derp. Hmm. They didn't destroy it, though. Or capture it. Um, I'm going to try and make short work of the Skaven, and then we're going to push back out to deal with these guys. Because if I can get a stronghold here, that is very much worthwhile, guys. Um, that is a bit annoying. I've let somebody else raid and sack me. Ha! <laughs> I didn't cause too much damage, though. It's a raiding camp. That's interesting. Winter tooth. Set us cars. Hmm. I'm gonna go straight into here, guys, because I want to capture here quickly. Now this is potentially a bad idea. Um that said, I've got so many monstrous units, I'm fairly sure I can just batter through their gate and clear out what they've got. But I'm going to keep my squishy humans a little bit behind while we do this and let my monstrous units do most of the work. My squishy humans may well try and... Uh, you know, these guys may all try and hit the walls afterwards, after we start pulling them down. A nice amount of magic where to hit. Well, here. So that's a very unsubtle formation. These guys are going to sit back here to start with. Oh, we left something over here. Oh, and my mage can come and get her right against the wall. I'm not even going to do that. Everybody's just going to hit that gate to start with. Ooh, this is the thing about Skaven Towers are a little nasty. Ooh, we've got Poison Wing Globadiers as well, which is going to be a bit of a pain. But once we break through, guys, we should be able to, as long as we can keep the pressure on, I think I help at Abominations here as well. This might have been a bad idea, guys. 
But capturing here is really important, so... You know what, I'm actually going to break you off, I'm going to group you so I don't accidentally use you. We're about to break through. Oh no, 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 you guys can all get through. The frog can pop a few abilities now. A very short range on that vortex. So you can get airborne and breathe on these guys. Oh no, I've still got frog selected there. Let's drop that vortex in there. We're at least pushing those guys back. These guys are still all pushing up. Some of my units are breaking already. This was always going to be a tough fight, so... Come on, Dragon, get airborne. Oh, wow, he is taking a lot of damage. And he's fighting a Helpit Abomination, which is dedicated anti-large, so actually that's a bad idea. And he's being broken. Wow. Oh, I forgot about this. This is Wolfric's ability, which is quite cool, actually. So you watch it, and we get a ship sail through them, battering them. I wish I could put that on auto-fire. Oh, Wolfric, go go deal with that Greyseer now. That is your job, is to kill that Greyseer. Come on, dragon. Come back. Hmm. Oh, he's not going to be able to do too much. We are breaking through now, guys, but it is a bit of a bit of a, a zerg. Let's buff everybody up again. There's a nice thing about this sort of small chunk is we do get to push. We've taken out one of their hell pit abominations. Frog can actually get onto that other hell pit abomination. Try and take him out. Where is Wolfric? Wolfric is on their lord now. That's perfect. That's where he wants to be. Hmm. You guys can make your way up against these guys. They've just cast a spell. I don't know what. That's it. Let's get on. Get you on him as well. The rest of you guys can actually just charge these guys. Don't let's not give them the impetus to come back. Let's just keep the pressure on them. Um, as I said, these guys I want to move up against the up here though. Wolfric is making very short work of these guys, and you can charge up now. They just smash their own unit with their artillery. That's what I should have gone for to start with. Break them out. Now we're through, guys. This is just about keeping the movement going. Oh, wow. Okay, Wolfric. My trolls should be able to deal with their rat ogres. I hope. If not, once we've broken these guys, the spears coming down should really help. Oh, let's finish off those plague monks quickly. And start pushing up towards here. Ah, oh, they're 
given a move in time. Well, freaking unit of trolls can go after these guys. They're holding surprisingly well. My trolls are suffering a bit here. Oh, but I think we've got the mass route now, guys. So we've, we've done this. Ooh, not the prettiest battle. I didn't win that by tactics, guys. I won that by might. I won that by knowing full well that I would have the weight for my troops to push through their gates there, guys. And batter them down. So, you know, we won that by sheer weight of numbers. Just pushing into the enemy and kicking them. Um, basically kicking them about. So, nice solid victory for us there. Um, we still took some losses. But this will be a Norse concessment. Because it is a capital. And I don't know if I get anything special from this. Because I know some factions do get special things from some of these places. Um... Certainly things like help it, definitely. We take take what you want. We'll occupy it next turn. There we go. This goes all the way up to this greater tribal stronghold. Um if I get all the buildings, I can actually build everything here, guys. But I've got a feeling I'm only going to get a few buildings here. We'll see. Let's have a look, actually. Um... Yeah, we only ever get five construction slots, which is actually more. One, two, three, four, five. So it's the same. But still, we get a nice forward uh, location here to defend from. Um, this generates much better income than my normal places. So yeah, that's a very nice settlement. To start with, we're going to take the growth, the, the growth building here. Um, I'm not going to bother with these guys. I'm going to build these guys in normal outposts. So this is going to be a large unit place uh, once it's built up. Um, what's this normal garrison? Quite a decent normal garrison. Uh, but I can also buff that if I want to. Hmm. I'm going to grab these for now. As you know, see, I don't really want to do that. Um... Try work out what I want to do. The world. You can come over here and pick this one up. That's nice. That's a nice follower. Grailing Wirkin. So extra melee attack for skin wolves, wolves, and warhounds. Which Wolfric has got. And Clan Mulder has been destroyed. And we've got. Nice chunk of cash from that. Let's just check what we've got. Because I might want to move that guy in. Extra movement range. Agilities captured post-battle plus 12%. I'm not that fussed about that. So we're going to take that wolfkin. Sorry, werekin. Um... That'll do nicely. Oh, that's what we've not done, which I want to be doing. He can have the Dragon Ogre Horn. Um. Hmm. I don't see a downside to taking off that. I know some people do say very much that you want him not on the War Mammoth. You want him on foot because as a jeweler he is exceptional. And once he's in these larger units, he does group damage rather than individual damage. But also having him being able to just batter into groups is, well, I'm sure you can you can get just how good that is. We're just going to start buffing up his damage to start with, guys. Because uh, that will be a very, very good thing for us to do. 
them up. I, I'm going to start going down his damage tree as well soon. So nukes upping my lords. I'm, I've got very, very powerful lords, so them being able to do good damage is also very, very beneficial for us. So we check up here. They're actually really cheap buildings keep doing that. Hmm. What else do I want to get, which is only three slots here? That is still good, but I'm not sure I'm going to use any of these sorcerers. Um, I don't know what the difference between these guys and the things is. I mean, the best way to get it is to get them and find out. They probably have a few different... They work, probably work in a slightly different way, but... What's the difference between them and these guys? Cause these guys are sorcerers as well. Um... Oh, they, these guys are also very, very strong in melee. I hadn't even realised that, so... I can use them. They're hybrid sorcerers. So these guys might have a few more abilities. We'll have to have a look and a play. Um, let's just check our income generators first. Oh, let's level you up though. When you are a little nation like this, a little faction like this, which, well, I'm not a little faction, but when you're a faction like this, guys, while I know you're not meant to generate your income from all these things, actually having places where you can generate your income really, really helps. Hmm. Right, we're going to leave it. Oh, I've got... I've got uh, a lot of cash. Actually, we're going to take Wolfric back to uh, build up next turn. The coaster one's here. It's a serpent jetty. These guys, I actually want to get some defences. Because there is chances we will be raided. Is not so bad, but still, actually, no, let's go on to the research one to up our research speed. Could we take that monster hunt? Oh, yeah, what do I need to do for this monster hunt? Thinking about it. Um, oh, we need to recruit some javelins. So, yeah, we'll send somebody back and recruit some javelins as well. Okay. So yeah, so uh, Wolfric's going to be pulled back. We'll recruit him some javelins. And there we go. The Empire is sneaking in here. Which is a little worrying. Are the Empire already right up here? Wow, if they're already that far forwards, that's a little bit of the worry. Because um, they will potentially hit me and hit me hard. Right, he's going to get hit by both my forces next turn. Ooh, I did expect that to happen. But they're in reinforcement range of each other, which is a little annoying. We might set up some raiding camps forwards just to uh, make them come to us. I was not expecting the Empire to take that territory. They want us to recruit a Lord, and Wolfric has got a quest. Have any of the four following units, Brutes of the Hound, 
Marauder Berserkers, a Marauder Berserkers. Okay, so he needs to recruit some Berserkers for one of his quests. Um, but Winter 2 Crown, we still need to get that Plunder Hall recruited as well. Um, where is the Plunder Hall? Hmm, I thought it was that one. Ah, so we are going towards it in some places. Alright, anyway. Get our regiments to remount down to get us up. He's actually gonna fight me. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick auto, guys, because we're we're actually at the end here. So, oh, we lost one unit of hounds. Um, I don't need the income just at the moment. And you can double time it over to here. Yes, yeah, sneaking through Empire territory. Oh, actually. Do I want to take them out now? Hmm. Let's get that. That's a very nice ability. Uh, but anyway, guys, we are going to be ending this one right here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, next time, we're going to be building up Wolfric's army. We're going to be continuing to plunder the north of Kislev. Um, and just generally building ourselves out a little bit. We're going to try and get get help it built up into a good forward, a nice forward outpost for us. But we're going to push forwards and try and take Kislev as well. Yeah, the Empire is right far forward already. That? They must have had some good confederations, guys. The Empire is huge already, which is a little concerning, actually. Anyway, as always, please feel free to drop any comments down in the comment section, guys. Or jump over to my Discord and say hello. Um, there is also a link to my Twitter and my Patreon, as well as my Discord, in the comments and the description. Thank you very much for your time, guys.